Welcome to my show. This is called Going Dutch, the dating comedy show. A round of applause. Who is here for the singles event? Anyone hook up? Do we Little. know what the bracelets and colors are for? Uh, green, go, go, go. You guys can talk to those bitches all day. Mm -hmm. Yellow, you can also talk to them, but it's gonna be a little more work because someone's already dicking them down. <laughs> but not well enough to say they want a red bracelet, <laughs> which means they're committed. We had uh, our singles come in, meet each other with our icebreakers that we wrote down, and then a lot of them did write down uh, some of their answers, also gave us some questions. So a lot of this show is gonna be a lot of a mix of stand-up and improv. Uh, you're gonna see some comics come up here and do some time. We're gonna rejoin them. Lucy, my, uh, my other buddy Jake are gonna come up here and we're gonna riff on some of these dating questions. I love Human or Dog. That's my new favorite game that you do. Oh, thank you so much. I cannot wait to see what you think about these. Tell us the time you were the most drunk you've ever been. Oh, no. Um, wow. Uh, shoot. I had, uh, I had a really big crush on this guy in high school. Okay. Um, Was it Sugar Man? <laughs> <laughs> That's a dog. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, I was from a small town. This guy moved to my small town from Manhattan. Okay, this did not happen every day. He was really cool, and I uh -huh. invited him to a party. Okay. And then I, I drank too much. That was the Natty Light days. Ooh. Okay, remember those? Oh, yeah. Um, and then I threw up in his car. Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, no. We didn't uh, talk after that. <laughs> <laughs> did you throw up on him? No, he wasn't there, and I did it. I don't know why I was sitting in his car by myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> Waiting, that, I guess. What a great... What Waiting a great, for my moments. What a great detail you just left out of the story. Where you're like, no, he was talking to some bitch. I was in, <laughs> I was in his car. I got his keys, I got his wallet, but I was too drunk to drive. So I vomited in there, and then I got the fuck out. Well, no, and then he came and opened the door and discovered me covered in my own bar. <laughs> this is great. And I said, it wasn't me. <laughs> and I, I have to say, unfortunately, I went. <laughs> <sighs> oh my God, that story got so much better. <laughs> what well, we thought it was over, and then wow. she was like, "Oh wait, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm drunk yeah. now. I forgot all about that. That's great. Yeah, that's a good one. Thanks. Uh, I got so drunk once. My me and my buddy f shared a fifth of blackberry Smirnoff when mm. we were uh, 18. That's good flavor. It was. Uh, we downed it, and then he got. We were both dating uh, two girls who were also best friends, and they were staying the night at uh, my girlfriend's house. And so he was like, I want to see Heather. And I was like, sick, I want to steal my dad's car. So we did, we stole my dad's car and then drove to Abby's where we were making out and then I got a bloody nose and bled on her face. Oh no. And then right around two in the morning, I realized, oh shit, my dad's gonna, he's supposed to drive me to Red Robin where I'm supposed to work at 6 a.m. Oh. I don't remember getting home, um, but I wake up in my bed don't know, and my, somehow we got the car back into the driveway. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know what happened to Bobby, my buddy that I was with, and uh, so he takes me to work. I'm so still drunk, I'm like, sp uh, and I'm supposed to be washing the dishes, and the leftover dishes that have food and ketchup oh, hit wow. my nose. That's tough. I too vomit mm -hmm. on the dishes. Oh. I take my apron off, put it over the vomit. I go into my boss's office, and I'm like, I quit. Whoa. I leave, I walk home and I realize I can't go home because my parents are still there. I'm supposed to be at Red Robin and they can't see me yeah. all still drunk and right. uh, sick. 
So I go to Bobby's house, and when I get there, the door is cracked open. It's, and then when I walk in, Bobby is laying on the living room floor completely. He's, dead. he's naked. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if he's dead yet. But he's naked. But my favorite part is that he has his hands through his pants <gasps> like he's trying to put on his shirt. Oh. So what I think happened is Bobby got drunk, stumbled home, forgot to close the door, fell, just f- fell down, mm. and Bobby gets hot when he sleeps and sure, drinks. Sure, sure. So he took off all his clothes, but then he got cold because of the draft from the door, so he reached for what he thought was his shirt, put his pants on, fell back asleep. Wow, wow, wow. And you live to tell the tale. I know. Wow. Or did I? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, spooky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Would you rather sleep with your celebrity crush who is really into you, but you die 24 hours later? Okay, or no. <laughs> you friend zone your celebrity crush and live forever as they try to pursue you for the rest of your life? Well, yeah, with the one you don't die. You don't want to bang John Han... I don't know if that's your guy, but... I need to get... Here's my problem. I need a new celebrity crush because I, my old celebrity crush got me to fuck who yeah. was it diplo what did diplo do bad stuff oh let's not get into it yeah <laughs> <laughs> let's keep this fun <laughs> who's yours selma hayek quick oh. answer yeah yeah i love her i hope she doesn't get me to yeah no i think she's good <laughs> <laughs> yeah i would die for selma hayek really i would i would have sex if she was into me oh my god that would blow my fucking mind if selma hayek was like Youth. Wow. I can't do a good Selma Hayek impression. Eh, that's probably for the best. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, that one was too risque, maybe. No, I didn't like it. Okay. Oh, okay. Would you rather dance or sing every time you heard a song? Um, dance? Would I rather dance or sing? Yeah. Sing? What song? Dance? Do you have a signature dance that you can do? Um, no, I, it's just what I've learned in the streets. Yeah. Well, I have a signature dance. Oh, you do? Let's see it. So if uh, my song were to come on, I call this the invisible scooter. It's where you moonwalk in place, but you add handlebars, and then you spin in a circle, and I thought this would impress women. Do you want me to hold? Okay. Yeah, you'll be, you the, need you'll be the girl. Okay, and okay. I'm just watching. And no, no, you're dancing. Oh, you're, <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> you're, at, you're at the bus stop, and I just walk up. Oh, here. we're at the bus okay, stop. Okay, you're at the okay. bus stop. I'm Kane. I'm like, when is the bus coming? <laughs> hey, is this your scooter? I, I maybe. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty good. That was good. Would that work on you if I, I did that at the bus? Absolutely. <laughs> Great. All right. Uh, we're going to do a cu- two more, and then we're going to wrap up this show. You bring a knife to a gunfight. How are you getting out of it? I only have a knife? Yeah, you only have a knife. You got a, ju- uh, a lot of stabbing? But they're, they're... Okay, so again, we're at the bus stop. Okay. I have a gun. You have a knife. Yeah. How do you get out of this? Uh, maybe sweet talk. <laughs> maybe okay. sweet talk. Sweet talk me. Um, hello, sir. Um, I don't... I, you... <laughs> okay. <laughs> I had some good stuff. I had some good stuff to say, but um, you make a fair point. <laughs> you make a fair point. Uh, all right, this is our last one, and okay. then we're going to get Alexa out of here. Uh, uh, would you be someone's last random fuck before they got married? Would I be? I mean, I guess if it was the mojo was going. What if it was Diplo? Well, I, no, we went over this. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> fuck, okay. I forgot. Don't want to get trapped in his secret lair. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, that's what happened? Well. God damn it. <laughs> Not that I'm the biggest Diplo fan, but I don't, I don't want people being trapped and stuff. Yeah, me neither. God damn it. I had one that I really wanted to do, but okay. What's the word? No, everyone has. Make asked. it a good one. It's the last okay, one. Okay, last one. This is going to be the good one. What's your biggest? Yeah, no, God, I hate it questions. Fuck. Okay. All right. Here we go. 
Wow, what a hole. That's nothing. <laughs> That's literally all it says. Wow, wow what, a what a hole. Is that a pickup line that somebody was supposed to write? <laughs> are you mini golfing or are you guys like, is somebody bent over? Wow. Naked? What if I came up to you at the bus stop and I said, wow, what a hole. <laughs> That's our time. Thank you guys very much. Woo! Give it up for Alexa. Um, guys, thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Avery and the Thursday Dating App for putting this show on. Uh, our whole goal for this show uh, is for people to meet in real life. If you've matched, uh, if you guys uh, decided you're going to match with somebody you met at our show, uh, and you guys are going to start dating in real life, let me know. Follow us at Going Dutch Comedy on Instagram. I would love to find out if somebody started dating or got married as a result of this show. Um, you will be getting an email with all of the comics, uh, social media handles, uh, so follow everyone that you, you liked and enjoyed. Uh, and let's give it up for all the comics that you saw tonight. Uh, and a big special shout out to all the singles that came out. You guys were so awesome. Thank you guys for coming. I got to talk to a lot of you. You guys are all sweet and wonderful. Uh, and so I thank you guys. Uh, let's give it up for Aero Club Bar for letting us do this. And that's our show. Guys, get home safe. <laughs>